Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, more butter. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, more butter. I'm all about that bass. Good afternoon, MHS. My name is Ryan Hudgen. And my name is Karen O'Leary. And this is the Midday Report. So, Karen, uh, how is Spirit Week going? Um, it's going well. Um, all the classes are participating. Uh, it's nice to see everyone dressing up, um, mm -hmm. wearing pajamas and glass colors. And remember, tomorrow is school color day, so make sure you wear your Milberg attire. Yeah, so everybody, make sure you got maroon on. And we're going to throw it over to Matt and Colin, who uh, have a sports section for us today. So, Matt and Colin. All right, thanks, guys. I'm Colin. And I'm Matt. And um, we're doing a little Turkey Bowl preview, Millery versus Grafton. What do you got for us, Matt? The Woolies, they're rolling in hot, going into Grafton 6-4, and four, currently on a five-game winning streak, including three shutouts in that span, outscoring opponents 151-41. to 41. Uh, Woolies are led by Richard Jolly, who is going into the game over 1,000 yards and for, on 136 carries and has over 12 touchdowns. He's really a dynamic player in the heart of the offense. And that's just a great thing to have, especially in high school football, that this, his kid can, he can juke up defenders, he can plow you over, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just opens up so many different things, like the pass. Yeah, he does. It really helps out everyone. Also, another running back and safety, Antonio Venturum, quietly doing big things for the Woolies this year, averaging seven yards a carry and three touchdowns with 522 total yards. Yeah, he's, he's, he's making a huge impact. It's great to have a versatile player who can make an impact on both sides of the ball like him. Looks good. I mean, the young kid, it gives hope for next year, too. Maybe mm -hmm. he can slide into that starting role. Um, that's about all we got from Milby right now. For Grafton, they're heading into the Turkey Bowl 5-5. Five and five. Um, They're 2-2 two and two in the season at home, including a victory over Nipmunk, who made it into the um, Division Four quarterfinals. Um, the, it's going to be a tough matchup for Milbury, but it should be a good tough game. Matchup. Yep, uh, Milbury's run defense, you know, they're really going to have to step up this game. That's, I hear that's what Grafton likes to do yeah, a lot. Yeah, Grafton Big seems to be a run-first team this year. Yep. Um, they have two running backs in their offensive scheme. It seems like they uh, utilize yep. them a lot. Yep, uh, you know, with Diaz and Malifon, uh combining for just over 400 yards, the, the both of them, Diaz with seven touchdowns, Malifonu with three. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be tough, especially when they get in the red zone yeah, areas. Diaz to stop great both of them. Line, yeah, Diaz yep. A um, couple keys of the game, I think Milbury's going to need to control Grafton's run game, and um, their front seven is definitely going to need to be on their toes, in the, especially in the red zone, to make sure they don't get in. Definitely, front seven's going to be key this game. Also, the time of possession for Milbury. If they can hold on to the ball, keep it away from Grafton, I think they have a great chance of winning this one. I do, too. I do too. Any predictions, Matt? Predictions? I'd love to say the Milburys are going to win this one. Who knows what the score could be. Yeah, I think Milburys going to end show a close big. one. I think I think we're going to beat them this close time. Close game, yep. That's all we got for the Woolies. And call. who doesn't love watching football on Thanksgiving, I know, right? I do. we got the rundown for you. The Bears-Lions at 1230. Who are you liking that one? Um, I think it's going to be a good game, but I think Detroit's going to bounce back after losing to the Pats. I don't see them losing to Chicago at home. I think Calvin's going to yeah. have a good day. What about I, you, Matt? I can see that coming. The Bears, you know, they're struggling right now. I don't really know how they're going to fare. Lions, you know, a classic Thanksgiving game. you got to see them taking it home this mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. uh, what about Eagles-Cowboys? Who you got now? Eagles, in Cowboys. Dallas, who you got? In Dallas on Thanksgiving? Come on, you got to go with the boys. That, they're a lock pick for this one, I think. Yeah, Huge I game for them, first place in the mm -hmm. division. First place on the line. A lot of people like the Eagles. I'm not sure on them this year. I think the Cowboys are going to win a statement game. Oh, yeah, I see a lot of points in that one. Not much defense mm -hmm. there. Yeah, you know? there's not. And then the night game, everyone's relaxed and tired, so you get to watch Seahawks 49ers. That's good, a football, big good football, good football at the end of the night. Football. Who we got now? I like the Seahawks on the road. It seems like they're getting their mojo back. Big win against Arizona last week. I think everyone's been kind of sleeping on San Fran. No one's really giving them credit. They made two straight, three straight NFC Championship games. I think they're going to win. I think they, you know, it's going to be a really good game, but the biggest game of them all this Sunday, Pats Packers. Packers. You got it. Lambo, who do you got, Matt? Pats Packers in Lambeau. The Patriots take this one home. I like the Pats too. I oh, think yeah. it's going to be a good game. I think the Pats defense is going to be enough to stop Rodgers. Pats D steps like up. Rodgers, great home quarterback, but this is a Super Bowl preview, I think. You have to agree with that. Yeah, right? I, I definitely. Two very good teams. Yep. Uh, that's all we got for the NFL. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, make sure you catch us back when we come back from break. Winter Sports Preview. We'll see you guys later. All right, thanks, guys. Um, also, don't forget to grab your tickets from Mr. Mara. Otherwise, they're going to be $10 when you uh, go to Grafton and get them there. You can get them a discount if you get them with us. Um, Karen, do you have any special holiday traditions that you do? Well, usually around Thanksgiving time. It's my birthday, so oh, nice. celebrate nice. my birthday. That's cool. So we got a uh, video for you guys showing 
what other people like to do around Thanksgiving. And Check what they're thankful for. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base, more butter. I'm all about that base, about that base, more butter. I'm thankful for all the food that I'm going to eat. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, and my dog, Bailey. <laughs> Being on this wonderful planet. I'm thankful for my family and friends and baseball. My job at Grady's. My family. Food and family. I'm thankful for my dog, Henry. Give me a second. <laughs> I want it to be like a good answer. I'm thankful for my friends and my family. My family and my good health. I'm thankful for family, teachers, friends, coach, and teammates, and soccer, and Real Madrid. I'm thankful for my family. <laughs> my friends and family, and whoever puts a smile on my face. Anthony Bianchi. I'm thankful for my soccer team. I don't know. Family. Evan Daly and Mike Magnus. Friends, family, and food. I'm thankful for the heat in the winter. I'm thankful for warm sweaters on cold days. I'm thankful for five seconds of summer and One Direction. I'm thankful for all the ways you can eat potatoes. Family and the turkey. I am thankful for my friends and my family. All that so you can say the most basic answer in the book. <laughs> no, okay, I'll say that. <laughs> because you know I'm all about that base, about that base, more butter. The video productions class wishes everyone a great Thanksgiving, and we hope you spend some great quality time with your friends and family. Also, we'll see you tomorrow at the pep rally. We got a little something planned out for you, so be ready. We'll see you tomorrow. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base, more butter. I'm all about that base, about that base, more butter. I'm all about that base, about that base, more butter. I'm all about that base, about that base, 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 base. On Thanksgiving Day, I think it's pretty true. Us dads can't make it, make it like we're supposed to do. The dining room, 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 we have no taste. We put all the wrong forks in all the wrong places. I see the magazines with all the recipes. My daughter, she could make it, but me? Daddy, please. So mommy hands me this and says you gotta sop till every inch of it is perfect. From the bottom to the top, oh yeah, mama, she